They said this day would never come. To some people, uh, Jane, that was the main story out of Iowa, that, uh, that this day has come, a, a, a black American won a caucus. To me, the biggest story out of Iowa was the uh, uh, margin between Huckabee and Romney, the, uh, the extent to which Huckabee defeated uh, Romney. What do you think was the big story out of Iowa? I think the big story was that the American people uh, if they are in any way represented by Iowans, which you can stipulate, want something different. And in fact, it was a fairly positive campaign until the Republicans started turning on each other. I don't think that's going to continue. I think there is a linkage between Obama and Huckabee that probably is going to be missed, which is, I mean, the whole thing about change has become a cliche. Hillary Clinton tried to run as experience and missed the change move and then said, oh, yes, but I'm going to be able to change, too. I think that that, that, that storyline of how she was presumptive nominee and then what happens is going to be a, a great story to watch. The big story out of Iowa was Barack Obama. In every paper in the country, you had Obama's picture on top, Huckabee's below. That was the correct call. This is someone who couldn't have gone to some restrooms uh, or motels in this country 40 or 50 years ago. His victory there is a huge story. But Huckabee, a big part of his victory was a victory over the conservative media and over the mainstream media. You had nearly every conservative voice in the media attacking this guy over the last month. Apparently didn't make much of a difference in Iowa. And he didn't have one good day in the free media ever since he spiked in the Newsweek poll about a month ago and it didn't matter. I think, I think Rich is very, very right and, 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 and very honest in, say, in saying it that way. Uh, I think the, that I sort of actually more agree with Jane in terms of this was no third term for the Clintons and no third term for Bush I'm gonna in agree both with, parties. Oh, sorry, I'm going to agree with all of you because I think that the two big stories to come out of this, number one, I do agree that the, the implosion of the GOP and, and all the conventional wisdom attached to that, but is the voter turnout just extraordinary. Just extraordinary people on both sides coming out in droves because of that need for change. You know what else Huckabee and, uh, and Obama have in common? And, and I think this was very important in Iowa uh, because people, I mean, the people who voted were pol political junkies, obviously, or the people who let their preferences be known were political junkies. But even a political junkie gets tired of politics. And I think there is something in the manner and I'm talking about performance here, strictly performance, in the manner of Mike Huckabee, in the manner of, of Barack Obama. Uh, Rich, it seems to me they don't announce, they don't broadcast, they, they have a knack of talking, just talking. And I think as a, lo as a long campaign wears on, that ease that these two men projected may have been as important as anything they said. I think you're absolutely right. There's something about both of them that says, Let's relax. Let's relax, people. And I think that captured something in the public mood. Well, I, think, I really disagree. <laughs> I think Huckabee has that, but I think that uh, Obama, particularly in his speech, I mean, that was an oration. That was a rousing oration. But I, mean, I don't know if you, if you noticed, he, sh he almost shushed the crowd. Like, he, he was not riding that groundswell with, with his arms flung open. He was like, now is the time for me to get my message out. And he spoke to them as their, like, leader from on high. Well, I, I, I think everybody does that on occasion, especially in, in very formal venues. But, Jim, I think that in, in less formal venues, these two men just seem right. like uh, 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 a, a couple of sincere fellows that you'd meet. I, I, I agree with that. And, and they're both great in their own way. I agree that you know, Obama is, is, is inspiring in some way. And I do think he has more of an orator. And he's got a great booming voice. And television for, picks and, that and, up. And, and television picks it up. But Huckabee, Eric, you remember... Arthur Godfrey, Dave Garraway. And these are the people who made television the style of conversation, just sit there and chat. And what, what Huckabee on Jay Leno was as good a performance. He wasn't telling jokes, he was just being natural. And I think it was one of those strokes during the Iowa caucus, before the Iowa caucus, that helped Huckabee win. Do you remember Dave? <laughs> no, but I've seen him on Arthur YouTube. Godfrey. I've seen, but but they're, but they're they're well known because you know Dave Dave Garrow would some general would come on the show and and Garrow would say, "How's the army?" And people thought that was just natural and, and unstentorian yeah. and unbombastic. Yeah, but I also got the insult about my age. That's two <laughs> segments and two times. <laughs> All right, I've calmed down now, Jane. Go ahead. <laughs> well, you know, I think this late night talk show, I mean, he, they came back. Hillary Clinton was on briefly, I think much more awkwardly. I think this is a mixed bag because, you know, do we know whether, whether 
someone is going to be able to handle, you know, foreign policy by how well they can mix it up with Jay Leno. No, but we guess something, and Americans like to think that their presidents are regular guys and I, or gals, and I think that's part of why we're seeing this as an important factor now. But also, it seems that at least at this stage, Rich, the Iowa caucus, uh, uh, New Hampshire primary stage, people don't want to know too much detail uh, because apparently, it, it, I mean, it, judging it, by Huckabee it, and Obama's victory, yeah, yeah I it, think it, it bores right. them, and 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 they don't reach the point if they do sufficiently, which they want to know about policy until there's one candidate on each side. Yeah, well, no, and Huckabee's pretty much explicitly said that. I'm not going to get in the weeds with this policy, you know, until I'm the nominee. One, one thing about the way Huckabee played the media and, and the end game here, he was bold. Romney was very safe, didn't take questions at town halls, was just trying to hold on. Huckabee took risks like that fiasco or a brilliant press conference, depending on how you look at it, and the Leno appearance.